and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a full day of streaming today. Uh, we have four new donation decks that are all pretty unique. I know y'all love unique decks. So this is what we're going to have for the week. We're going to have uh, Jace Gangplank starting it off. The thing about this deck is it's going to be, you know, Bilgewater, Piltover, and Zon. Lots of good stuff. But then we get double boats at the top end. We're going to have uh, Albos Pharos, you know, be our Jace boat. And then the Dreadway be our Gangplank boat. So that's kind of cool playing a deck with a couple of boats. Uh, we'll have some good six plus cost spells. Because, uh, of course, that's what Jace and Forger tomorrow want. And then, obviously, the Pharos Financier will also make more 6-plus cost spells for us. Then anytime you can combine Make It Rain and Mystic Shot, that's always pretty good. Get some landmark removal with Aftershock. Um, early attackers and stuff to deal Nexus damage to help level up the Gangplank. Gangplank is just a 5-4 now. It was a 5-5 whenever this uh, donation deck was submitted. Uh, but, you know, now it's just a 5-4, and so it'll be kind of interesting to try out uh, Gangplank since that uh, change. Because, you know, I haven't played a 5-4 Gangplank yet, so that'll, that'll be uh, something to do. So, let's give it a try. We got uh, five games in ranked with Jace Gangplank. So, yeah, we're going to be playing unique stuff today. Maybe not necessarily, like, the best top of the meta game, but hopefully we'll get some good fun games. Um, as you can see up here, we're also we're gonna have Ari Elise, Zillion Shivana, and Riven Rumble. So some good stuff today. So we're facing Poppy Kennen. Uh, I kind of want to keep everything honestly, but I guess I don't really have anything to go along with Fortune Croaker. Maybe I just send Gangplank back because it's a five mana card. Um, or you know maybe I keep it. I'm not exactly sure. You guys will keep it. So looking at this, I was kind of thinking this could be a Vandal Tree deck, so I definitely wanted to keep Aftershock. In case that it was. Wow. I mean, I guess I could just play Fortune Croaker as a 2-3 and block. I guess that's probably my best thing to do. I don't change fate, but I can see it. Oh, I hear them! <laughs> I wish I would have sent that Mystic Shot back now. Man, crazy. Yes, yeah, so they don't care about attacking. Definitely feels like a Bandal Tree deck, right? Definitely feels like that. Look, a thing. L, that's not ours. I rarely forget. Never forget. Fine. to it so they're gonna have what ravenous flock also I guess uh sure it seems like ravenous flock also these aren't the best I think I'm either gonna take uh, strong arm or sunk cost I guess like sunk cost can get rid of a bandle tree for example I'll take strong arm. I'm your man. I'll probably have some good. Nothing beats field testing. Probably some good followers, you know, like loping telescope or something to take. This is definitely a Bandle Tree deck, though, as you can tell. It's 100% Bandle Tree deck. So the fact that we wasted our Fortune Croaker, that really hurts. Wow. 
Wow. I guess they chillin' with all removal over there. Man, it is just all removal over there. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me, Captain. Definitely assuming uh, mini morph, right? Like I go dreadway the mini morph. The ocean are self There's no oh, I don't have any more gangplanks left in my deck. So that's the last one. All right, well it's not mini morph, but it's more removal because we know that like that's all they have is just removal. Rumble Slug. They just only have removal spells. It's crazy. Let's get crew. All right, so I can play that and still play both Strong Arm and Shock Blast this round. Or it looks like we're going Shock Blast and Aftershock. Well, that thing can't block. And GG's. We just had all removal. Too much. So Pantheon deck, but no other champion. I'm surprised there's not a Taric or a Shivana or, you know, anything. That's surprising. They're choosing to only play one champion. I'll get rid of the Gangplank again. We are pretty good at drawing Gangplanks. That's what we have found out. I like the Monster Harpoon. Yeah, like, the whole thing with the Bandle Tree deck is you want to play a ton of units and be able to, you know, do a lot of blocking and stuff like that, and they just didn't have those. They just had all every single one of their spells. This could be really good against Dragon. You know, assuming if they only have that's rough if they only have pantheon for their only champion they're going to have some followers like some dragons that are going to be pretty good that was a nice setup for them This is the card, though. That's going to be the card that I'm going to want to strong arm. Maybe we just do this. They could have another, uh, you know, chain vest. Good. Because, you know, right now, like the goat, we can kind of block and stuff too.
Jace is the better card over Gangplank. But it's easier for them to kill Gangplank also. Um, you like, if, like if I go Jace, quick attack, it's probably like a better attacker than just simply Gangplank is. Break their legs. Are you the one? Because it's super easy for this Saga Seeker to kill the Gangplank, you know, like any any spell basically. Which I guess it'd be the same way with Jace too. So, could have Mystic Shot in response, but... Oh. I want to keep the strong arm available. And this was the only card I didn't want to see, right? <laughs> Their only champion. So, they have Spell Shield. A spell Shield tough. Yeah, I mean, this guy's just impossible to kill. The reason to play more than one champion is so that, like, what if they play this game and they just don't draw a Pantheon? Like, how do they how do they win? Wounded White Flame? Like, we had that covered, so, like, they had to draw one of their champions, and unfortunately they did. Bleed, we must. I'm at six. That's not much life. I don't. Uh, I guess it, it's not. Doesn't do damage yet. Yeah. Yeah, I should have passed the round, or or yeah, I should have broke up the bear. Yeah. That didn't work out. And then just have rallies for days. Alright, so they have one card that could win. Pantheon, so they have three copies of it in the deck, and unfortunately they drew one. That's just what their deck's built on. It's like the all-in Fiora, but they were all in Pantheon. Well, great. The only region combination I can never defeat. Demacia Targon. Alright, so if they have a really good hand, they're going to beat us. This doesn't stop, you know, Taric Pantheon rallies at all. But uh, if they don't have that kind of stuff, maybe we can just kind of go wide with some 3-3s. Three three so by playing Crackshot Corsair round one, that means that we got to play Forge of Tomorrow round three. And then into Assembly Forge round four, because we won't have the mana for Assembly Forge round four. Um, oh, that's gross. That card is so good. I can't play anything this round, to, so we can have four. So, we, yeah, so we can have assembly line. Have four. Uh, oh, yeah, no, of course Jace and Gangplank are the best combination. No, 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 I mean... This is, again, just a viewer's minute donation deck, so we kind of have for today. We have some decks that are, you know, it's like a fun Friday stream that I'm still playing them in ranked, but this one, the Aria Lease, they were donated as meme tier decks, but I'm just playing them in ranked today. No, these aren't... These aren't as good as Pantheon, Taric, Demacia, Targon. Come on, then. This is not something I'm expecting to defeat. But that would be the case with basically everything that I play. It's... My win rate against Demacia Targon's like 10%. I will die when I am ready. Yeah, and this donation deck was from a little while ago, from before like the Gangplank nerf, before uh, Pantheon and that kind of stuff. 
I don't really see how anybody ever defeats Demacia Targon decks. Somebody does. It's not me. Somebody does. I help when I can. But it's not me. Yeah, so right now this is, you know, like we're going with just, you know, Jace Heavy here. Because even playing, you know, playing the Demacia Targon decks, right? Like we always have super high win rates whenever we play Demacia Targon also. I think it's the best region combination. It certainly is after the nurse. That card's not very good. So I didn't uh, end up didn't end up doing any blocking. Uh, you know, obviously we could have blocked with, like the Crackshot Corsair, but I want them to be able to like play pump spells after blocking, or anything like that. Obviously, if they have like fight spells and rallies, we lose. But you know, it's just how it is. All right, we gotta pray for a really good acceleration gate. Okay. Um. A soldier stands among us. We are all soldiers this day. What do you have? You have impact. You got an elusive scout. That's pretty cool. Obviously, they could just have Sharp Sight or a Fight Spell, but... Or a Hush. Why do you fight? I will make gods remember this day! Got the Pantheon. This is now looking pretty good for us. Aim. Acceleration Gate is incredibly powerful. That's a way that we could actually win. And it's looking good. That's 26. Are you the yeah, so they had to block with both. That was kind of exactly what we needed, that, that, you know, they didn't have... I was expecting, you know, a rally or a fight spell that would kill my Jace. They didn't... they weren't able to, and we were able to double acceleration gate. That was definitely what we needed. Beauty and life. Aftershock. Alright, GG's. Acceleration Gate, that's exactly what we needed. And we defeated Demacia Targon for the first time ever. Today. Um, Acceleration Gate is so powerful, as we saw there. You know, double um, six mana put two three threes into play. Like, that is a really powerful ability and effect. So I kind of want to keep all this... Right, like, you know, just ones and twos. It's going to be good against the fast aggro deck here for the Misfortune Gangplank. The only thing is, like, Crackshot Corsair is pretty small. Um, but I still think I want to keep it. No, it's not, like, actually the first time that we defeated Demacia Targon like we did, uh, uh, we did yesterday. But it feels like it. It's it's a rare... <laughs> it's, it's rare. Like I said, like, I have, like, a... I don't know, it's probably more more like a 20% win rate against Demacia Targon decks. I probably lose 4 out of 5. And I probably win 4 out of 5 playing it. I'll probably have like an 80% win rate when we play it. Let's get him, crew. I'm 
I'm sure that's somewhat of an exaggeration, but not too far off from the truth. Guess it's Mystic Shot over here. Uh, RG, RPG Princess, do you know what counter is Pantheon? I believe, from what Arose said in chat here, I believe Lurkers is really good against those Pantheon decks. Because they just get uh, too much power. So I think that's, that's something that's good against them. Um, cause you know, like, like those dragons, it's hard, hard for them to keep eating them if, you, if the lurkers just keep getting lots and lots of power. Alright, so you can, as you can see there, you can, like when you play these cards, you can hit over here, you can like, uh, cancel basically and not have the ability happen, so they did not want the demolitionist to die. Attack with both, they go block, block. Attack with one, you know, they go block, attack with this one. Hmm. Is it worth suiciding a Corsair just to do two Nexus damage, basically? Probably not, honestly. We already dealt Nexus damage to them that round. No prey, no pay. If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid! In range! You pay first! Wow, that's like the perfect, that was just the perfect mega range. I'll be damned. And so that's three out of five for Gangplank now. Their gangplank's at three, mine's at four. Well, uh, we're not gonna really do any damage to them this round. Surprised no one's playing Zoe Pantheon? Yeah, Zoe Pantheon sounds cool. I don't know what this attack was about. Is that last card like Make It Rain? I'll do. Just had a couple cards left. So three and one for Jace Gangplank. Very nice. Good record here. And Zoe Leeson. We're doing too good. Way to have Leeson sent on us. So, hmm. So Aftershock can kill Eye of the Dragon, right? Like, so their deck has three champions, right? Zoe, Eye of the Dragon, and, and Lee Sin. They got three champions. Those are like the, the three threats that there's gonna be a lot of. Mega Rain's good against Zoe, Aftershock good against Eye of the Dragon. Um, nothing's good against Lee Sin, but you know, that's just kind of Lee Sin. I'll just send them both back. I don't know, I kinda wanna keep this Aftershock. I kinda wanna kill, I don't know, maybe I should've kept it all. I guess we're just going to keep taking Sunk Cost today. Sunk Cost can get rid of a Lee Sin. So no Eye of the Dragons. That's why I kept Aftershock was for Eye of the Dragon. But no Eye of the Dragon right now. Wounded White Flame. I guess they have a new... 
Like they have a new ch champion. This is a bad block. It's two damage. I should take two. This is a bad block. So they want to get damage on the dragon, but it only gets one damage on the dragon. This is a bad block. Why would Zoe prevent Pantheon from leveling up? If you were playing Zoe and Pantheon together, how would Zoe prevent Pantheon from leveling up? I don't understand that. So obviously they have, you know, like Twin Disciplines or Pale Cascade, one of those two cards. Ooh. I like Harpoon and Transmogulator. Transmogulator is more reliable. Because, like, they can get these, this thing out of 5 damage range easily. Um, but then again, the Harpoon could be 3 mana. I'll take the transmogulator. It's an awesome day for progress. Oh, there's an eye of the dragon. Because you want to save your mana and get tempo to level up Pantheon for the props. Breathe in, breathe out. You can get targets with super cool star chart, right? It could get like the plus zero plus two spell shield. And you're probably like wanting to save Zoe a lot, so you're probably targeting Zoe a lot. You know, Zoe can also just make more threats for you, right? Make more units, and so you could have more spells, like in a Zoe Lee Sin deck. Zoe can get you some more threats. You can kind of basically do like the same kind of Zoe Lee Sin deck, but just play Pantheon instead of Lee Sin. That should work out okay. You know, it won't be perfect or anything, but it should work out okay. See if this gets not deny out of their hand. They're they gotta be a three deny deck, right? And so that's kind of like the problem of, of these cards. They're all very deniable. Yeah, it was a, it was a poor block by me. Let's see one previously. So now they have. Force is meaningless without skin. A pleasure to see you, Master. All right, now they have that. Man, that'd be so nice if that worked, right? There's no way that this works, though, right? But might as well try. What? It worked? Wow. So if if they do have deny, they're saving it, right, to protect Lee Sin. And so I did that as again, you know, like more deny tests, you know, than wanting to cast sunk cost this next round. So I'm really hoping they just don't have deny, right? Like it's it's possible they don't have deny. That's a that is a possibility. Conflict is all in the mind. It's not very likely now, especially after that deep meditation. It's not very likely at all, but it, it's always possible. My lands need me. The dragon spirit awakens. Game. Oh. GG's. 
there. I had hope they were challenging like a 2 2 instead of 3 3, and then I was going to Mystic Shot the 2 2. All right, so I'll still take it. We'll take a 3 and 2 in ranked. Uh, not easy going 3 and 2 in ranked, and we were able to get there with Jace Gangplank. Um, had some good, powerful stuff in here, you know, being able to combine. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a, a pile of good cards, basically. You know, combining like Mystic Shot and, and Make It Rain, always good. We saw um, Assembly Line look really good, especially multiple Assembly Lines to go along with the Jace. And then you also have like Dreadway Gangplank, that's like a good strong top end. Barrow's Financier always being good. You know, have just like a lot of good individual cards, put them together, and got a pretty good deck. So that's going to be Jace Gangplank. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one today. Uh, we'll have uh, Ari Elise up tomorrow. So um, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.